This is 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. And in this segment, I want to depart a little bit from my normal rant. What I want to do is I want to play for you a tape of a speech I gave back about two months ago. It's a little over five minutes, but I think it's well worth the investment. Here you go. We are constantly told there are so many different issues that need to be fixed that it makes my head swim. Our two-party system continues to make all these huge, all-encompassing changes that swing the pendulum so violently back and forth, it is literally making our economy, our culture, and our citizens sick. There is too much talk about the criticalness of action and the need for hurried decisions. These are sales 101 techniques used by charlatans and snake oil salesmen. Here's how it works. They create a crisis and then place a time limit on invoking a solution. This is taught by every sales training school in the land. But should this be the methodology with which our government serves its people? It's time to break the mold and to invoke our constitutional rights to have equal representation. While everyone focuses on the specifics, you are having your rights and opinions stolen right out from under you. It's being done in the name of efficiency and criticalness. Yet, at the end of the day, it will be undoing the gains fought for with the blood, sweat, and tears of our ancestors. So, if I was sitting in your seat, I'd be asking myself, what should we be doing if not focusing on the specific issues? The answer is simple. But the action requires courage. You must join, support, and help bring forward a third party that will be the third leg of a well-balanced stool. This party will give citizens an opportunity to have a real choice, a real voice. What does this party stand for, you ask? Although there is a platform of positions on everything from immigration to tax reform, from energy independence to health care, it's not time for those discussions. Why, you ask? Well, with the current status quo, your voice will never be heard over the party pressures and special interest financing, so the game must change. The playing field must be adjusted before we can flex our muscles once again as we the people. So, what's our strategy for recapturing the American spirit away from the marketeers and the lobbyists? Our strategy is simple. It's elegant and comprised of three steps. Step one. We first fight to make certain that your vote counts for something. Step two, we provide you with an integrity-based representational system that you can trust. And step three, we start to reinstitute states' rights over federal mandate and a capitalist economy that provides incentives for entrepreneurship, hard work, and responsibility. Let me break it down for you. Step one. It's time that your vote counts again. This can only be done by changing the current model of having only two choices when voting. Right now, your choice is between the rich elite candidate and the career politician. This must stop. The only way to do that is to institute a 12-year term limit on any and all elected and appointed posts. Then, we must create campaign finance reform that prevents politicians, lobbies, and corporations from buying our elections. Once we've done that, we then can move on to step two. We must rebuild your trust in the legislative process. No more behind closed doors deals. No more voting for bills that no one has, no one's read. No more last minute pork belly riders on the back of what otherwise would be clear legislation. We can achieve this by demanding that all legislation be singularly focused. If a bill is about health care, then there shouldn't be a rider regarding college tuition loans attached to it. It's also time that bills be written in plain English and be provided to the citizens 72 hours prior to the vote being held. This will provide all of us an opportunity to clearly speak our mind to our elected representatives so there's no confusion regarding the voice of the people. Then finally, We need to reach back to the Constitution and demand that we once again become a democratic republic instead of a federalist democracy we are emulating now. This means that unless the Constitution clearly states it, then states' rights should prevail. This means that the federal government will take fewer dollars from each individual 
and it will force states to make better financial decisions. States with failed social experiments will be forced to make better financial decisions in order to survive. For this to work, it will be necessary to rebuild our enthusiasm for the capitalist system. So we need to give it a kickstart with a true capitalist stimulus package for all businesses, not just a select few. This will come in the way of a 0% corporate tax, which provides small businesses greater opportunity to invest and larger global businesses with a chance to repatriate trillions of dollars of overseas profits. This will defederalize our capital markets and provide an opportunity for job growth like we've never seen in this country before. But we can't stop there. We also need to eliminate the pension system that has failed and will continue to fail for so many Americans. Both the public and private pension systems have provided a false sense of security and divested individual Americans from the self-reliance which is the cornerstone of our culture. The final part of this step is to realize that our educational system has failed. We can no longer support a business boom because we're not preparing our children. While our current administration is focused on college graduation, I think it is more important to focus on the fact that 30% of our kids are dropping out of school. There needs to be a shift in the teaching process to allow academically oriented children to excel. While providing children with more hands-on learning style and opportunity to excel in vocational skills through apprenticeship programs. It's time we ensure that every child have the education necessary to be an effective part of this country's workforce. In turn, reducing the need for welfare and social programs. It's time to take back our political representation. It must be done in steps. It must be done through a, the movement away from the status quo. It's like the old saying, if you always do what you've always done, then you'll always get what you've always got. If you are happy with the last two administrations, then there's no problem. If you're happy with congressional dealing and hurried passage of bills with earmark spending that will keep your children in debt, then there's no problem. If you're okay with 30 to 50% of the children of this country not finishing high school, then there's no problem. But if any of these problems concern you, then it's time to do something different. It's time to be part of a third party that will give you back a government that is all about we the people. You've been listening to 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. And if you like what you've heard here, go up and pick up a copy of my book, Political Common Sense for America. You can find it at Amazon.com. Also, check out our website, www.politicalcommonsenseforamerica.com. P-C-S-F-A.com. Until next time, be safe out there.